Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. This is a tutorial based research channel um, showing you um, my um, results, the uh, research in action and uh, basically how you can uh, do this for yourself. Um, it's very simple, all the instructions are, are there. Um, yeah, so if you have any doubts, um, give it a go. Um, Bruce in the pudding, really. Uh, check the other videos out. Um, it's a lot of information. Um, I have some subs that are um, trying this for themselves with great results. Uh, it's amazing. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't doubt um, until you've done this research yourself. It's the, it's the only way to confirm things or at least confirm that the these images are, are are not what we're being told they are and uh yeah so uh take it from there um i think this is part part three of um iapetus um which is a pluto moon um i'm showing you this i'm i'm doing the parts because uh they are worth looking at so um and it just shows that every photograph is um full of um these things we're looking at so okay this is the mission logo i always show those they're great that's my favorite so okay we're gonna be looking at this image um it's two megabyte and um, not bad i mean it's quite surprising I'm getting good results out of um, uh, low quality images um, but do read this stuff um, obviously pause it and have a read um, and uh, just note the way they write this stuff as well it's um, here we go uh, no, no 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 four kilometer two and a half mile um, crater which is up here so it's huge um, there's some more information as well um, and this picture was taken from 76,000 miles away um, very cool so this is the the raw image um, and that's the crater they were talking about and that is two and a half miles high apparently so quite incredible and some areas here um, initially when I'm looking at these images I try and um, I've been doing it for a number of years now and I sort of know what I'm looking for but um, there's a line here. You might not be able to see that, but um, to me it's very distinct. Um, all the way through here. This area around here. And there's a few little features sticking out which look very familiar to me. Here, here. All over the place. The more you look at it, the more unusual it, it becomes. Um, So, yeah, this is the, the untouched image. Quite cool. So, okay, let's get right into it. Um, I, hold on a minute, I have to remember to do everything. I like a bit of background. Okay, and let's. It doesn't always let me do full screen. I don't understand why. Oh, could be my keyboard. Cheap and cheerful. Right. So this is the image with some work done on it. Um, it was slightly. I colorized it a little bit, uh, and these colors coming through are are from the from the tools. The uh, these different range tools here um, which 
do saturate the colors and stuff it's just the nature of it but i think it looks quite good as well it might help you interpret it a bit better so where should we start let's start down here so for those of you who are new to this uh, this might not be um, particularly easy for you to make anything out of I mean there are some features which your eye gets drawn to I haven't actually done a lot of work on this bit um, so um, and the reason I do do the work is because uh, it helps you focus on what I'm what I'm uh, what I'm doing and then it's a case of looking at these images for a reasonable amount of time to let yourself adjust to them. I'll just go to some points where just my eye draws me to it. Uh, if you've seen, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, um, just check them out. And uh, when I talk about um, similarities with things, um, you'll start understanding what I'm talking about. Um, every image is different as well. Um, some are better than others. And... It's uh, <clears throat> just a case of searching through them and, and seeing what you can find. Immediately, this area is starting to open up now, and you can start seeing some uh, forms forming. So, I'll just show you quickly. Um, quickly it doesn't doesn't really work that way it does take time um, but pause the images and, and and have a good look so I nearly even lost where we were, where we were then See, these are quite unusual, this stuff. You probably can't see a thing now. But I'm relying on you to, to listen to... Uh, I have made this image larger. So uh, the darker you go with these tools, the... Uh, the more strain it will put on your computer to to work if you haven't got a very powerful computer which um, I haven't so you can see how it's saturating the uh, the initial tone which I put into the image
and these processes are, are how you can if you work on you know a light a gray and a black for example individually then um, you can compress the um, the what looks blurred and get more clarity out of the image to see what is going on sorry for repeating myself people who are following the channel um, it's important to understand what's going on so now we can see things appearing which uh, are not what you would call geological formations but hey we don't know because it's a you know it is a an alien planet but it's how you know how we interpret so if I pan back a bit you can start seeing the uh, what I would I think I would call you know structural design layout infrastructure things start starting to happen this area is difficult it's quite hard to decipher what what is going on um, but when you start pulling this stuff out then you can start See this area here. You know, is there something? Is there something happening here as well? I think I could bet you that there is. Um, Not that we actually can be able to identify So that's a bit quick um, But when I show you the rest of the image, I mean look at this here But we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that on the way round This isn't at a finished state. Um, I just literally don't have the, the time to to um, do that. But if you want to see something, have a look at my very first video. Sorry for the rawness of it, but um, that's an image which I've spent the most amount of time on, and is um, well, it's mind-boggling. So take a look at it. It's uh, Ganymede. I will be going back to Ganymede. I've got some very cool pictures to show you. <clears throat> so this is on, um, if you take that as a horizontal, let's just have a, a quick um, See if I can 
point it out for you. If we move that a little bit like that, then this might make a little bit more sense to you. So we have the angle of, um, well we don't actually because it was taken from 75,000 miles away. But we can see the tops and the sides, um, shadows, um, the same stuff. I mean, you notice over here that they clearly constructed um, structures all the way through here. It's a case of like focusing on a point, recognizing it. Um, as something and then just relaying it throughout the rest of the image. It can be very difficult when you're starting to do this. This was the crater they were talking about, which has a two and a half mile high wall on it. And after a bit of work on it, you can see uh, there's some quite mad stuff going on. Whoop! Didn't really want to do that. So um, we'll just have to wait for that for a minute. Um, Right, okay. Sorry, guys. That's me, uh... Okay, so we'll, we'll leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. I thought I was going to lose the whole thing then. This all has total design to it. anyone say if they had a look at this not knowing what it was where it was what had been done to it 
that's sort of me carrying on with you know while I was talking about how people perceive, perceive and, and, and see stuff it's quite a cool little experiment you can do yourselves you know find a picture of something don't tell anyone what it is and just see what they say This part of the map is harder to make out. Um, but there was an area I found. This area, I think what I'll do. Um, is... gonna go back to there doesn't matter the bits and bobs and stuff I've done on it um, yeah this area here is pretty interesting give yourself time to focus in on it um, but there's some interesting stuff here. Uh, the area around it looks slightly more raised. Um, and this is a little bit more, shall we say, open plan. But you can see these things sticking up. Don't know what's going on here. There's some clear right angles in there. Tiny little stuff. Well, it's not tiny. little details I wouldn't actually expect to get out of an image like this To me, this, this this image is just so obvious. But let's just remind ourselves. It's also an exercise in your, your eyes being able to re... So that was that area we were looking at a minute ago. And it stands out on its own here. I can see even more stuff.
I think this is uh, reminding me of uh, Mercury. Some areas in I don't even I don't think I've showed you that um, picture yet. I shall have a look at it. Um, and there's certain areas um, that look quite similar to this. Okay, there's some features in here. This area. This area. That stand out immediately. Obviously, it's the the whole lot. Um, You know, at a glance, you could say that this looks like, a, you know, the, the very sort of holy um, volcanic rock you get. Sort of has that look to it. And that's all, all I'm saying. Obviously, we, we have to take the scale into account. and all the other latent features in this. everywhere what is what is that what is all this?
seeing it now. You can't miss it. I was just going to go and have a look at something. I've lost it. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's simple. It, uh, the reason they hide this stuff is so you can't see it. If you could see it, you'd be going, Mr. Scientist, can you tell me what this is? And uh, they're not going to go, well, they're, um, they're building, they're construction. Someone, someone's building... Uh, Building stuff from Niapetus. Um, simple. And if this was visible, semi visible in the first place, people would go, well, they're very strange formations. What are they? Um, and there you go. So there's no explanation about any odd-looking formations at all. There you have it. Lots more to do on this image. Let's have a look. Sorry about the uh, moving around the image like that. It's good exercise for your eyes. It's just the program. I can't. I can't get around it at the moment. You can see the design. Yeah. 
there you have it I think this was part three um, interesting image go and have a look at it see that brilliant um, as always thanks for looking um, I hope this uh, hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it um, if you want to start doing this um, to find out for yourself um, go for it uh, any problems just give us a shout um, nice one cheers guys